Hey guys, this is Jack here with a video demo of iOS 4.2 for the iPad. So we're here with my iPad and I just installed for iOS 4.2. Uh, I did set up my Wi-Fi so we're going to go there. Let's first verify that I'm running iOS 4.2. So we're in general settings and in the version here in the box here we see 4.2 8C5091E. That is the build number for the iPad version of iOS 4.2 beta number 1. Now let's go back out and uh, well, this first is a few, bunch of new features in iOS 4.2. Uh, one of them I can't show you, which is wireless printing, because uh, Apple's Pages application has not been updated for that yet. But what I, what I can show you is Game Center. And I'm already logged in, so I, you have these same four tabs as you would have on the iPhone. Um, you know, friends, games, and requests. And in the Me tab, you have these little icons, uh, little squares, little tiles on the bottom that basically show our icons of um, iPad games that you can install, and they work with Game Center. So the interface pretty cool. Um, it is op I iPad ma ma maximized. It's not just an iPhone port. Let's get back out of there and let's look at um, iTunes. Let's see if they put a ping in there. I'm going to switch over to uh, landscape mode and I'm going to click cancel. And as you can see, there's no ping. There's only music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, uh, audiobooks, iTunes, and downloads. There's no ping as of yet. Maybe they haven't added it yet or maybe there's some problems or whatnot and I hope to see that in a final version. Now what you see here in the background are these three lights, one, two, three, and they're actually part of my lighting system, so um, you know, I'm trying not to focus on that or you know, have it on the iPad screen. So the second feature I want to show you is uh, multitasking, and what you do to get multitasking is basically simply uh, double tap on the home button, and it'll bring you up this, push up the screen, it'll bring you this nice tab bar here, and you can switch over you know, to apps using that. Very fast, very efficient, very cool, um, and very well done. Now some people have said that due to the iPad's uh, lack of, well not lack of, but amount of RAM which is 256 megabytes compared to the iPhone 4 which has uh, 512 megabytes that performance during multitasking might be slow. So far I have uh, five applications in the taskbar, there's four plus one I'm running and there's no slowdowns, no performance you know, losses here to be, to be, to be noticeable um, and that's pretty much it for that. So if, you, if I go over here and I go swipe over to the right you have this uh, new interface, you, have this, you can slide around for the brightness and uh, play pause, fast forward and fast backward for iPod as well as this new button called screen orientation lock. Now what I just did there was actually lock the screen in portrait mode. So if I go back over here and I try to switch to landscape, it won't work. Uh, now so what, so what about the hardware uh, switch? So the iPad has a switch, this little switch on the bottom or on the right side here um, that basically is a, you know, screen orientation lock and what they did what Apple did was with this was actually to transform it into a, uh, um, a mute switch so if you tap on the top here uh, you're unmuted if you move it down you're muted so they switched uh, they actually allowed you to mute stuff before when if you want to mute it mute the volume you have to press uh, keep holding on the lower lower volume button which will eventually lower it and mute it so let's take a look at Game Center as you can see, Game Center, this new interface, looks very nice. Four tabs, me, friends, games, and requests, as well as these little tiles scattered around the top and the bottom. The clickable links to the App Store, which uh, will show you the application and how much it costs. So the interface looks very similar to the iPhone. It's a little bit optimized uh, for the iPad, so that's cool. That's pretty welcome. So next and last thing I want to see is if it has, um, if it has ping. Now, as you can see here, I have uh, music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, audiobooks, uh, iTunes U and downloads. I don't have ping. I don't know why. Um, I tried this landscape as well and it didn't work so maybe they haven't released it for the iPad yet. In any case, uh, I can switch. I have multitasking which is really cool and uh, I think multiple inboxes and unified inbox and mail which I can't show you because I haven't updated or haven't put in my mail uh, stuff in yet. So that's pretty much it for this video demo of iOS 4.2 for the iPad. Thanks guys for watching. I'm sorry about the lighting. It, it's it's unavoidable. Um, so yeah. Thanks guys for watching. Please follow me on Twitter. I'm twitter.com slash beautifulcode. Please, please subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys next time.